All right, so a lot of people have asked me, Angel, how come you don't do a video of you making glass? Da, da, da. So I have finally decided that I'm going to make a little video. It's going to be um, short and sweet. I'll probably end up fast forwarding through it because I might end up like talking and not really like what I have to say. Um, so this is a big deal for me. Uh, showing you kind of the creation process. Uh, I even cleaned up my, my workstation here. Um, what you can't see pictured is all my glass rods. Um, so basically, you know, this. I'm working with um, 104 glass today. Um, so, and that's my favorite type of glass is the 104 glass. Uh, anyways, you can't see all my glass. <laughs> um, I have so many different colors and um, I just love a variety. I keep a lot of it just right out in front of me within reach and then I have like extras or colors that um, I don't use that often kind of off to the side and then I have my propane tank which is safely hooked up and I also have um, my oxygen concentrator and uh, oh my vent, my vent, which sucks the air from out from over um, with the flame, basically. So, and then it vents it right outside, which is kind of up. You can kind of see it, but it vents it out out there. Um, yeah. So, I don't know how this is gonna work, but I guess I'll set this up and give it a shot. Uh, these are my glasses. Uh, they protect my eyes from the flame. Um, I don't know if. I'm sure that there's plenty of other videos out there of people that have no idea what they're doing, um, but I just feel like I should let you know that I really, um, I've been working at this for a long time, but I'm self-taught. So there is no, uh, I don't have any, um, how do I say, guidelines on uh, the exact proper uh, description of what I'm doing. I can only just tell you what just kind of comes from me. So uh, the first thing I do is I do light my, my flame. So I, I'm gonna put, put my propane out and then I get a little bit of oxygen going. And um, I have a little, I have a very specific flame that I like. So, okay. Now, one of my favorite things to make are galaxy penguins, so that's probably gonna be um, what I'm gonna make today. I actually really haven't even thought of anything that I'm gonna use, so um, this is a really nice color. You can kinda see it right there. It's, um, once again, I don't really care about the fancy spancy names of things. Um, that doesn't matter to me. What matters is how it looks, <laughs> uh, and if I like it. And if I, you know, if I usually, um, Try to make things with things that I like, but um, I also try to keep in mind what other people might like. So the first thing I do is uh, heat it up in the flame. You want to take off the ends, and I have a dump uh, little bucket here that you can't see, but it's there. So basically I'm getting this glass um, into a ball. That's what I want. I want a nice blob. I want a blob it. Because that is gonna be the foundation of my galaxy pendant. Now, so it's a galaxy penguin pendant, I should say. Um, those of you who follow me on a regular basis, I know there's not many, but there's a few, um, you know what my galaxy penguins are. They are, uh, they're just, they are what they are. They are little galaxy penguins. They're baby galaxy penguins. Um, they all come and join the colony. And each one is completely unique and uh, not like the other. And they come with a little uh, message of upliftment and love is what I um, usually say. It's, it's just a, a help 
um, a little helper card. And it has a little positive quote on it. Um, actually, right now I have these cards called um, Affirmators, which they are just the best thing I could have found. And uh, I usually, I shuffle the cards and uh, I split the deck, I shuffle it again, and then I, I pick the card for every Galaxy Penguin. Um, I hand select it for the person that had purchased it. Um, and I also named the Galaxy Penguins because that's what I do. Now, I, now that I have a little blob going, I like to flatten it out just so I can see how, how big my little, my little penguin is going to be. Now, I honestly, normally I'll pick out some colors, but I had nothing picked out. So now I just, um, I just have this. Now, I'm gonna add some arms to this penguin, but I'm just like letting gravity kind of get him to where I want him to be. I'm trying to keep in mind that the camera is over there um, so that I can show you the, the process. I think this is the same color. Once again, you should, if you're gonna attempt doing this, um, well, first of all, it's gonna take a lot of hours <laughs> to, uh, to make things that you actually are proud of, I guess, and feel like showing other people, because uh, it doesn't work out so easily um, in the beginning when you have zero experience. However, totally can be done. Uh, you just put the work in, you know, that's what I, I do. I, right now my daughter's napping and my son is at his grandparents, so I am able to have a little break in my mom life so that I can create. So now I'm just kind of shaping the overall uh, look of the penguin. I have this little knife here, a uh, very, very professional uh, stainless steel. I don't know. It was in a it was in a pie that my dad brought over, and I was like, Dad, you don't forget the knife. So this was years and years ago, and he's like, No, no, you keep it. That's your knife. I'm like, Okay, this is my knife. <laughs> Looks like it. But anyways, it's perfect. I love this knife, and um, I use it probably on everything that I make. So now I have the little the shape of the penguin that I'm trying to produce here. And this is just about the time where, uh, when I'm starting to create it, I honestly think of their names. I mean, some I don't. I can't always think of their names, but this is about the time. I'm not used to talking while I do this, so I'm kind of just looking at, once again, I should have been a little bit more prepared for my first video, but um, I wasn't. And I'm just kind of looking for the color I want for this little penguin. And you know what? I want red. I just want to add some red to this guy. I don't know why. So I'm looking at this, and it's you actually have sometimes have to check the colors. So I have all my my um, my glass labeled over here. I have, uh, and I don't need label it with like what it is, like uh, the you know the special name or whatever. I just I have like earth tones. I have red, orange, yellow, <laughs> greens and blues, pinks and purples, and uh, and that's how I, I label my glass. It's kind of like my music, like, I don't, I'm not, I wouldn't say like I'm into like any, um, like a huge follower of specific bands or stuff, I couldn't even tell you like a lot of the bands that are playing, it's it's if I like the song, if I like the, if I, any particular song, if I just like how it feels and how it makes me feel. And I know that's kind of weird to compare to glass colors. However, I guess I'm just a little weird like that sometimes. So I just put um, what's going to be the face and the belly. And you can see that when I, I am constantly moving this in the, um, in the flame to keep it all heated because that's what I, I, I don't want it to crack. It will crack. So 
with that tool, um, I just flattened out what's going to be our little galaxy penguin's face. So I usually put a little indent here on the penguin to show um, his, I don't know, widow's peak, I don't know what you'd call it. Um, yeah. So the cool thing about my galaxy penguins are um, their eyes are made with dichroic glass. And I really love to do that. So right now I'm just gonna grab a little bit of white. So when you have these glasses on, it's, it changes the color of what you're looking at. So with certain colors, you have to kinda really know what you're doing. Um, but, or I shouldn't say really know what you're doing, but really uh, know what color you're looking at. Um, you gotta sometimes check it, <laughs> like go like that and check it. That's why I have them labeled so that I know quickly and not while I have burning hot glass. So now I'm just kind of flattening out the eyes here because I am going to put a lot of stuff on top of this white and I don't want, um, I don't want them to like screw up on me. They're too bulbous. Okay. So now I have the eyes. That's the base of white there, and that's going to be on top of the red. And I'm going to put a little bit of dichroic glass. And so with the dichroic glass, it's a little finicky. So you gotta get it just right. Now this looks dangerous. It, it kind of is. I, I'm not going to lie. I burn myself a lot. However, that's what you need to do to get the little ends off. I'm, I, it's tough. I, I wouldn't say I'm a huge perfectionist when it comes to glass anymore. Uh, when I first started, I definitely was a lot harder on myself. However, So normally I'll turn the uh, the flame down on certain things like that, but this one I needed a big chunk, so I did it. Now I'm just looking and I'm seeing if I like like the overall um, color. Now it's hard to see, I know. Um, I wish I could zoom in a little better. However. It's my first video, so I need some help. Um, so I do like the shininess in this this little one's eyes. I'm feeling like I want to put like another color on. It's, see, this is where it gets tough. Oh yes. Okay. Wait a minute. They're checking. I got an idea. I am so gonna have to just cut out the voice in this. I'm sorry. Sorry you have to deal with me, create accents and can't help it. So I'm, normally I don't put a, a lot of color over the dichroic um, because I like how the dichroic looks just right on its own, but it's a live, this is a video. Um, and. I just feel like trying how this, that purple, so this purple you can't see, but I mean it is a beautiful color purple. Um, and I just kind of want to see what that looks like on top of, now it's a transparent color, so if you just put a little bit down, it goes on top of the color and it almost like glows. So I just really felt like that would be a nice color on top of that decor glass. And so now we got something going on. We got some big eyes. This guy's gonna have some huge eyes. Um, and now, so to do the, I usually do the um, 
the eyes like first before I do the beak or anything because the smaller pieces have a chance of breaking off. So I'm just going to drink some water. So, um, I then take the black. Oops, I just stab myself. I turn my flame down because I don't want the black to melt um, too much. to make my so I don't I don't want the uh, black to heat up too fast and the reason why is because sometimes it um I don't want to say it, it it makes it has like a crackle look if it heats up too fast because essentially you're burning the black um, and that sucks so I don't like that um, so I just try to heat it up pretty slowly dogs upstairs barking or howling. I didn't leave him in his crate because um, so hopefully he can be trusted but if you follow me or are friends with me you will know that we have a puppy. His name's Akinai. He's uh, seven months old. So he gets into everything. But he's a good boy, other than his relationship with trying to eat Mir all the time. She gives it to him, so. This, oh my goodness, this guy is so adorable. So now I'm putting the little whites, um, almost like, like a, <laughs> like a, one of those little baby face eyes, I guess you could call it. I like to put two little white dots on the pupil because it just gives it this really adorable kind of like adopt me look and they're baby penguins so they need a home. Alright so now that I have that I'm going to put a little beak on this guy. And again, I should have had colors planned. You think that I would, because I usually do, but you think that I would for my video, that I was going my first video of me doing this. Um, so, just get a little orangish yellow stringer that I have here already. And um, we're gonna put that right there. So I, I put a little dot when I do the beak, and then I take my trusty old knife and I make their their little face I try to give them a little bit of a personality oh oh my goodness this guy is so cute Still need some hair, and the hair is going to be the um, the bale, which is basically like the loophole where the um, the, the necklace the rope is going to go through. And again, I have not decided on uh, what color I was going to do that, which kind of stinks. All right, we're going to go with we're going to go with red because. That's what we put at his belly, and I think it'll tie it in nicely. I said him, but this could be a her. Or it could be whatever it wants to be. We do not discriminate here. Gally galaxy penguins are what they are. I feel the need to like talk because I haven't um, 
ever done a video before, so I mean, I'm wondering if it might just be better if I do it like a voiceover. Um, <laughs> you're gonna hear Don't Stop Believe It in the background with my Pandora. Now, for a long time, I've been listening to podcasts uh, when I do my glass, but I also listen to Pandora. Um, So I have different bales that I do, but for this one, um, I'm going to use the pinchers, tweezers, and I'm just trying to get a nice spot there. And I sh go like this, go like this. Certain colors are different, so it takes a little bit more than one time. That's that, and then I pick up this tool. I'm just gonna open up that hole. And then I really like to use my tweezers to make it even bigger. Um, because even though I do have a little necklace cord or chain that comes with my galaxy penguins and all my pendants that I make. Um, I know that a lot of people like like to put it on um, like things that they already have or like hemp. They want to put on like a thick hemp rope and just to really stabilize on there. I do not stop. There's this little head. Sometimes I'll put a, a little. Um, I don't know, like, a, oh, it's meant to be a jewel, but it's just a little bit more dichroic glass on, on the bale, which is his hair, but I don't think I'm going to do that right now. Uh, I think it's looking good. We're almost ready. So I'm going to heat up this these tweezers now because I'm about to grab the top of his bale, and if I don't, he could crack, he, he could crack because of the cold um, coming from the tweezers. So, I keep calling him a him, but I'm telling you, this guy's going to be a her. So cute. Alright, so this is kind of like a interesting process where I don't want the tweezers to be too hot because then I'll melt that and leave a little imprint. However, I need them to be, yeah, just right. And then I'm going to put little feet on them. So, real quick, I'm going to take some of this. And basically, I'm just looking to get the same amount of glass on every um, on each of these feet. And then I'll take. I mean, every penguin's different, but I'm going to take the small. Okay, there we go, before he goes into the kiln, and uh, I guess we'll see, see him in a, well, probably tomorrow. <laughs> Short and simple, little galaxy penguin. And now you know. <laughs>